Look at the front where it says Ames real big. The future of a handful of local Perkins restaurants is in jeopardy tonight. It's all because of a disagreement between the company that owns Perkins and a regional company that operates them. As First News reporter Vince Cal tells us, the dispute goes back more than a year. A judge in federal court will decide the future for 27 Perkins restaurants, including several here in the Valley. The company that owns the Perkins brand has taken 5171 Camels Land Company, a franchisee based near Pittsburgh, to court. We looked through court documents. In them, the Perkins Corporation says camels used unapproved products in the restaurants. They also say royalties were not being paid to use the Perkins name. Perkins also claims upgrades to the restaurants were not being done. Last month, the company terminated the agreement with camels, meaning all the locations they own would need to drop the Perkins name and close. It also means they couldn't reopen under a different name within three miles of those stores for at least two years. In a statement released today, Perkins said Camel's Land Company repeatedly failed to live up to the franchise agreement, and they now want the locations closed. I visited several local restaurants today, and no one at their stores would talk. The owner of the Camel's Land Company, William Kane, also did not return our calls. In Boardman, Vince Kyle, WKBN 27, First News. Hi everyone. Hey everybody. Right now we're in Hermitage, Pennsylvania, and we're at an abandoned Perkins. Why is that? Well, it's simple, really. Kayla and I were hungry. We wanted to get something to eat, and naturally, this is the place we found. Because that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, <laughs> let's go explore. Yep, that says it all. This Perkins is gone. First and foremost, here is the signage facing the highway, which is covered by a blue tarp, as is the signage on the front of the building and on the side, as you have seen. This closed because the franchisee that owned this one and a handful of other Perkins restaurants in western Pennsylvania and eastern Ohio uh, wasn't exactly faithful and being responsible. Wasn't paying bills, was selling like non-Perkins items. And as a result, he got sued and had to close all of his restaurants pretty much. Now some have reopened under new business names. Others reopened under new management. But most haven't, to my knowledge. This is one of them, obviously. A shame. It's a shame that it's gone. But yeah, this one is one of many that closed because of the whole court case. That was pretty ugly. It's the reason why the one in Cranberry Township closed as well. And you know, there's a couple others that were filmed. I believe uh, my friends Terry and Nikki Altman, they filmed one as well. So, there's those ones as well. Kayla's sitting in the car because she's cold. I don't blame her. <laughs> but yeah, we're just walking around, checking this place out. I love Perkins. hate that it's closed. Nope. Please wait to be seated. Well, you'll be waiting for a long time at this rate. Can't even get inside. <laughs> Please do not remove. Call Era Johnson Real Estate. All right. Parking lot is empty except for the Z and this truck here, which I believe is camping for the night. 
which is okay, that's fine. Truck drivers need to get their rest so they can drive safely. I totally respect that. So I'm trying to be quiet. I don't want to bother him in case he can hear. I don't want to wake he or she up, you know. Let's just check out a curiosity. Nope. Kohler's open. Pair of pants. That's it. Couple trays. Nothing. Still some snow on the ground. Here's our garbage area. Nothing in here. Grease trap. Grease. Dumpster. Nothing other than, other than that. Some plywood. Pallets. That sort of thing. And I like how back here they have another entrance to their parking lot with another sign, which you see right there, which was also covered by a blue tarp. But here we are now, nothing. We'll walk around the other side. I think we can do that. Not sure, but we'll try. See if we can. A lot of broken light bulbs back here. <laughs> oh yeah, we can. Yeah, I just introduced uh, Kayla to Perkins a few weeks ago when we were on a dead mall trip along the I-80 corridor when we hit up the Clarion Mall, Du Bois Mall, and Clearfield Mall, which uh, you may have seen those videos. Oh, we'll get a good look inside through this window here. Snow's melting, so you hear a lot of water dripping. Can't see too well because of the blinds, but and some of the lights are off, but still something. You know, see here's where the water's dripping. I like how they have an awning here too, over this window. It's kind of funny. I don't know if you can see inside it in here at all. Uh, a little bit. More or less the same thing. Oh, wait, there's a door right here. Let's check that out. It's really muddy here. Wow, this door hasn't been opened in a while. <laughs> there you go. There's a good view inside. What a shame, though. <laughs> But yeah, I like Perkins. I hate that it's closed. The ones around Pittsburgh are all gone. The one that's closest to Pittsburgh, to my understanding, is Wheeling, West Virginia. Unless there's one that's still open in the Washington or Cannonsburg area. But I don't know that there is. It's weird how this light is still on here. I guess they leave them on as, like, security lights or whatever. But... Oh well, that's a wrap from here anyway. All right, everybody, well, I'm gonna wrap up this video, but before I do that, take a moment to acknowledge and appreciate the AutoZone Neon. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot of them use the neon lighting anymore. You still see them from time to time, but not a whole lot use these anymore. Or they just don't light up, or they just don't turn them on. But here's one that does. That's pretty awesome. All right, yeah, it's starting to get pretty chilly out here. I'm not wearing a uh, hoodie either because it was 46, but... Put on a hoodie. Well, I'm done. Get sick. I know. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm done filming anyway. So, that was pretty cool. You can see inside. It's weird how the lights are on, and I don't get any breakfast. Which kind of irritates I don't get me. To eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the look at Perkins. If you did, give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. And if you're like Kayla and you're cold and you wanted to stay in a warm car, that's awesome too. That's cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's fun going out and exploring for you guys anyway. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know the drill. So anyway, with that said, take care, everyone. Stay awesome. And have a Kmart-licious day. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody.